Good afternoon. Today we're going to be making trifle. For this we're going to need some jam, um, half a pint of double cream, half and half of summer berries and raspberries frozen, trifle sponge, you just use a normal sponge, and custard powder. You need to use the custard powder because the normal custard doesn't set properly. We're also going to need some milk for the custard and some sugar for the custard. Basically, a trifle in its simplest form is a bowl filled with, in the bottom, sponge and jam soaked with brandy and then fruit and then custard and then the double cream and then the, like almonds or whatever you want on the top. The first thing we're going to do, deal with the sponge. So it out of the bag, try not to break it. Sometimes it's best if you use a bit of a bigger bag. Then, Take off the top layer and we're going to jam it up. So, get a knife, use a butter knife and open the jam. Now what we're going to do is jam the sponge. Because uh, it's quite a big sponge, we don't need to jam the whole thing. Or use the whole thing, we're just going to jam half of it. So this is a new jam, it's very satisfying. your hands. Great. Now we're going to get to my favourite bit, adding the sherry. If you're not into that kind of thing, you don't need to do it. We're just going to add two of these tablespoons into it. Great, mix it up a bit, and beautiful, that's your sponge all done. Now what we're going to do is add the defrosted, hopefully, but oh, it's still a bit frozen, it doesn't matter, add the defrosted fruit into it. And you're probably thinking, oh my goodness, that's already most of the bowl filled up. But as I said, it's all going to get compacted and also the custard and the cream is all going to kind of mix together. So it's, it's going to get, don't worry, it's all good. Kind of spread it around a bit, try and get it as even as you can. Might add some more raspberries actually. Cool, now we've got to do the custard. Right, so for the custard, what we're going to do is measure out. We're just going to use the recipe on the custards because, I mean, why not? I've got an aga. It's probably a lot better if you use a hob, but I'm working with what I have here. So, first, the Pyrex. Measure 
a pint of milk. That's actually quite a lot of milk. Uh, I don't know if that was fine. Oh, I think that's exactly one pint. Amazing. Great. So, measure a pint of milk. We need two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of custard powder and two tablespoons of sugar. Which is great. Oh my god. I've never actually used custard powder before. It smells quite nice. Okay. Two tablespoons. One. Two. That's two tablespoons. And also we need two tablespoons of sugar. So, add a bit of milk to the mixture, just a bit. And kind of mix it up to try and get a sort of paste. Well, it's changed colour, it's got all orange. Cool, so you're going to mix that up. Put it on the cold heat, this is the cold one. When you stir the custard, it goes liquid and then suddenly solid. What you want to do is just get the custard and pour it into the bowl. Make sure you pour it out evenly. Once you've whipped your double cream, you can put it in, on the top layer of your trifle. The problem with my kitchen, it was way too hot because it's summer and we got an agar. So the cream kind of curdled. Um, this is really bad because then it kind of, when it sets, it, it's kind of like ice cream and it's disgusting. Um, after this, I kind of removed the cream and put on some of that compressed air whipped cream. But still, it looks quite nice. And that's the finished product. Looks lovely, apart from the cream. <laughs>